how do we get the stretcher into the ambulance? What I recommend you do is if you and your partner are around the same strength level because you have the stretcher is kind of tilted, what you can do is you can team lift into the ambulance, right? If you have a great disparity between the one provider and the other, one's super strong and one's not very strong at all, at that point, the, the provider who's much stronger may just do the lift themselves because it, it, it provides better balance. Obviously, in, in some areas and in a lot of areas, you may have a stretcher that's automatic, so you're not lifting at all. But if you have to lift them into the ambulance, now you know about that. Now, here's my super secret bonus tip. You only learn from experience. Here it is. When you're working in the back of the ambulance, and hopefully you can see me here. I'll try and stand up so you can see me. Let me move this chair real quick. So when you're in the ambulance, you're not standing up completely tall at all times, especially if you're pretty tall. You're kind of hunched over like this doing patient care. So you want to be very mindful of your back when you're in the back of the ambulance. Try your best to kind of bend your knees a little bit to, to move around. You don't want to be stiff and let your back take over walking up and down the back of the ambulance all day. That's just a quick tip that I've noticed from my experience passing it to you.